Hello everyone, today I want to share a project that I've been working on behind the scenes. I call this PyCan. It's a tiny affordable USB drive shaped USB to canvas adapter. So yeah, it's a pretty simple device. Assuming you already have firmware flash to this, the, the way you use this is very simple. You just plug it into your Raspberry Pi and uh, connect your canvas here. I'm connecting a fan right now, but don't worry, I'll show this in action in a second. Just just connecting a fan just as a demonstration. So you connect your canvas here through this JXC, uh, JST XH connector. And of course your wires should be twisted. And uh, yeah, it should just work. So you configure your CAN interface and clipper here. And uh, it should just work. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. The PCB in there is uh, this thing. So uh, this is not the final, final version of it. This is the prototype I ordered, but the changes are just cosmetic. Like I changed the name from USB CAN to PI CAN, added PI CAN on the back as well, and rounded the corners. <laughs> That's all I changed. So, you know, this works and the version on the GitHub repository, the published final version should also work just fine. So uh, this has an STM32 FO72 MCU in here and a TI CAN transceiver. This is, ba this is basically a... Uh, mellow you talk or big three tech u2c and a tiny pcb and uh, yeah it's uh, because it's basically the same thing it works pretty reliably the 3d printed case files are also on the github repository and uh, once you print those uh, the way it works is pretty simple you just put it in here and uh, you grab the other side align this with the end of the pcb here and just click it in place it's supposed to be a little difficult to click. There we go. And this side too. And there we go. So it's a pretty simple case file and it works well enough. So I'll also show this on the computer on the on Fusion 360 so you can see how the two parts lock together as well. But before that, let me show this on my Micron so you can see it in action. And here it is in action. Behind that extruder motor, there is a big 3Tech EBB36, which is a cantle headboard, and the wires for that are running up there, entering the top chamber through here, and that, that's the yellow and green wire. I just extended that with red and black there, which is connected to the Pi can, which is connected to the Raspberry Pi, obviously. So, yeah, here it is in action, it's working fine. I tested all five samples I have, and all five of them uh, work just fine, so I'm pretty sure they will or all work pretty well. I actually designed the Pi can because of some problems I had with the can transceiver on the Big 3 Tech Octopus here. I tried to get that working for the can tool headboard, the Big 3 Tech EBB36, but I just never managed to get that working and in the end I realized the problem was the Octopus, not the cable or the can tool headboard, so I need, decided I needed that new USB to CAM adapter thing and instead of buying a big 3 tech U2C or Mellow Utop, I decided to design my own mostly because as you can see I'm very space limited in this electronics chamber and I didn't want to put another large board and a USB cable which also occupies a lot of space in here so I mean I guess I probably could have made that work by stacking some electronics or something but I you know it's already very crowded in here I didn't want to make it worse so instead I came up with the idea of having a tiny uh, you know, USB drive shaped uh, PCB let's go to the computer and I'll show you the GitHub repository of the project I don't know what happened with the audio quality there so sorry about that but anyway here is the GitHub repository of the PyCan here you can find the readme file for example which has some purchasing links from me and lab4450 in Europe and I think Portugal. Uh, if other vendors decide to sell these I'll also let, add their links in here too. You can find the firmware flashing instructions. If you buy from me or lab4450 or some other vendor that does pre-flash their units you, can, you don't have to do any of this but if you buy from a vendor that doesn't pre-flash these or if you just order from a PCB manufacturer then you will need to flash the firmware to it and you can find the instructions here. It's pretty simple to do that. You just have to put the MCU in DFU mode and yeah, just flash the firmware. It's pretty simple to do. On the GitHub repository also you can find the CAD files of the PCB and the case. I guess I call that shell. Uh, the source files of uh, which I uh, which lets you modify these PCBs. I use EasyEDA, so these are EasyEDA files in here. These JSON files. 
You can find the Gerber files, which include the Gerbers, but also the bomb and pick and place files. So you can order these from a PCB manufacturer. And uh, I do license these under GPL v3, which means you can order from a PCB manufacturer and you can sell these too without even paying me. I benefited a lot from open source projects in the past, so I like to contribute. So I like to use the GPL v3 license, just like the, a lot of the War on Design projects. So this is licensed under GPL v3. If you want more information about the details of the GPL v3 license, you can read that uh, in here. Uh, you can also find the um, SCL files for the case, so the two pieces. And uh, I said I was going to show you the how that works in Fusion 360, so here it is. You can see how these two pieces look together. There are these 15 degree angle uh, things in here, and yeah, it just snaps together like that. So it's, it's a pretty simple design. I've experimented a lot with these kind of things in the past, and I found that 15 degrees for ABS FTM printed parts at least seems to work the best, so that's what I used here. And uh, yeah, I think I had to do like 15 prototypes or something like that until I got a satisfactory result for in uh, many other things, not just the p pieces snapping together. The PCB itself just sits in here, and uh, there are no screws or anything, it just sits in the uh, slots of the ABS file and uh, you know it works pretty well and it doesn't wobble in there or anything like that it as I said it works pretty well so yeah you can find these files on the github repository one more thing I forgot to mention is you can see that the USB drive is of course a bit larger than a USB cable but this doesn't block any of the USB ports on your Raspberry Pi so for example on the Micron if you look uh, rewind the video and look at it uh, I'm using all four USB ports three for USB cables I connected the uh, Octopus, the webcam, and the spare uh, USB full size B on the side of the printer for the Kuzba to the Raspberry Pi along with the Pi can, and they all fit. So, this doesn't block any of the USB ports. I think that's also worth mentioning. So, yeah, it, again, it's a pretty small PCB and uh, it works well. So, if you're interested in this, uh, the GitHub page is linked in the description below. But uh, that's it for this video. I hope you found this project uh, interesting. If you did, please leave a like down below and thanks for watching.